Here are the components for our project. Let's see what we have. We have an Ethernet module, we have an ESP32, a 3.3 volt buck converter, a BME280 environmental sensor, a terminal board for the ESP, a PoE adapter which takes regular 48 volt PoE to 5 volts, and a plug to go to the other side of the PoE adapter. Let's wire this up. Here is the wiring diagram for the Ethernet module and for the BME280 environmental sensor. Knowing how they're to be wired, let's see it all come together. Uh, our wiring's all done, so we're just going to do a quick check to make sure we have polarity correct everywhere. My buck converter is 12 volt tolerant, uh, so we're going to test it with 12 volts. We have all our other components unplugged, um, and we'll check the voltage everywhere. We have 12.15, we have 3.3 there. So it looks like polarity is correct. So we have our PoE module here, which will take Ethernet and 48 volts, split it into Ethernet and 5 volts. The 5 volts will go to the buck converter, which will then convert it to 3.3 for the Ethernet module. We aren't powering the Ethernet module through the ESP because the ESP's voltage regulation, onboard voltage regulation from 5 to 3.3 is probably not robust enough to run it. Um, over here we have a BME280 environmental sensor. Uh, it gets its 3.3 from the ESP and then connects over to the ESP. So with that, uh, let's go find an Ethernet jack that's got PoE and see if it's going to fire up. Here is our PoE switch on top. Moment of truth. And we got red lights everywhere. No magic smoke. Let's head over to the computer and write up the code. Let's load the latest version of the Arduino IDE. We'll check that we have the right board manager installed and the right Ethernet library installed. This Ethernet library does need some changes to work with the ESP32. In the library source file, copy ethernet.h and rename the copy ethernet esp32.h. Open the new ethernet esp32.h file and go down to line 254. On line 254, you will comment out the old class ether server line and add a new line where you change the class from public server to public print. We need something for our web server to display. So for my example, I'm using the BME280 environmental sensor. And to support this, I'm using the Adafruit BME280 library. With your ESP now connected to the computer, ensure you have selected the right board. For my example, I am using the ESP32 dev module. And check your COM port. Here's my code for the demo. I've included a link in the video description so you can download it and view it and use it yourself. Note that it does include code for a favorite icon. Note that the Ethernet library does default to a different chip select pin than the ESP uses. In the setup function, I have reassigned the chip select pin to pin 5 for the ESP. Note that if you don't modify the ethernet.h file, this is the error you'll get when you compile. With the modified file, it successfully compiles and uploads to the ESP. Using the serial monitor, we can note that the ESP has properly initialized. Browsing to the IP that was hard-coded in the web server code, we can see the output from the BME280 sensor. Why did I pick an ESP32? They're cheap, there are lots of tutorials online, and it's based on a 3.3 volt microprocessor. I found with my Arduino Nanos, the modules that I use with them wear out over time. While those modules are 5 volt tolerant, 5 volts is the upper limit of their tolerance 
And I'm wondering if that contributes to their wear. Using 3.3 volt modules and a 3.3 volt microprocessor, I hope they'll last a little longer. I hope you found my project interesting and it helps you on your own. Thank you for watching.